So the Lord had hungered. We stopped the Lord from hungering. And then, I actually forgot what's coming after that. Bongo? We did get the bongo. I remember we got the bongos. Maybe we leave and have a cutscene immediately? Let me, let me take a look at this so-called wasp's nest. There's wasps coming into and out of it. I see I see a spider. But that's okay. Wasp nest. There's a wasp nest on it. Let me put it this way. I see why people use uh, pesticides. Our our garden has been uh, oh and Tomo you'd like to leave as well. Alright, alright Tomo. By all means, let me let me uh, that you've been in here for three hours, but sure. There you go, buddy. Go ahead. The garden has been nice, but has also attracted insects. Hey, Agent York. Oh my What's next? god, you're so loud. And then when you get insects, the insects attract larger insects. And all of a sudden, I'm like, I don't know, is, is having all this chicory, is it worth a wasp infestation? I'm not sure. Anyway. Fear not, Patty. Our next stop is that stylish woman's house. Okay. Her name is Helena Doman, and apparently she lives in this town. What? You want to go meet her? You know her? Uh, yeah. Everyone calls her Lena. Hey, how'd you figure out her name anyway? Lexus Nexus? No one told you, right? That's true. No one told me. Verbally. By pure chance, Zack and I happened to acquire this. We picked it up from the <laughs> ground while the pastor was busy crying. A little... I'm not illegal, I suppose. Just frowned upon. Patty, this is a prescription for a female hormone medication. Which means this person is undergoing hormone treatment. So what? Understand? It's the Oracle. This is the ticket to the goddess that we were meant to find at the White Hall. I just remembered something that Melvin said to me in the holding cell. Professor R isn't exactly a normal woman, according to him. Let's go, girls. Now it all makes sense, Patty. Lena Doman is the stylish woman we've been searching for. Professor R in the flesh. You know, Agent York, you might actually have some talent after all. Uh, coming from an 11-year-old is a bit of an insult. Yes, I'll be honest with you, Patty. Both Zach and I are <laughs> extremely talented. So I hope you can trust us and continue working as our assistant. Nobody else will return my calls. Ooh. All right, HD in the coffee. What? I got you your lunch. Get out of here, dude. What's your problem? Okay. Lena Dunham. Next slide, please. <laughs> Dude, this is the improved frame rate, too. <laughs> oh, baby. All right, just a simple, a mere 1,000 kilometer, or sorry, 1,000 meter skateboarding trip. We have no problems here. A 1,000 kilometers would be too much, but I'll have you know I played Skater XL this week, so I know exactly what I'm doing. Now I'm freaking out though, dude, because I'm like, I don't mind, you know, I'd rather not have to deal with a wasp's nest. But I really hope they're not murder hornets. I did see that, like, Washington State isolated a colony of murder hornets this weekend. And I'm like, eh, we do live uh, only a few hours north of them. Hey, want to talk about bridges? Why? I've become obsessed with bridges, Zack. And there's heard that one. In fact, I, I'll I, I believe we have heard all of them, quite frankly. If this town has a symbol, it's got to be that bridge hanging over the bayou. Lift bridges. Nope, heard that one as well. 
You can banter with CLG. Yeah, but not while we're boarding. So, you know, if it's a choice between a conversation with an 11 year old and ripping some sick tricks, I'm gonna be ripping some sick tricks, brother. No lie, I had a ton of wasps and they are pussies. If you just smash their nest, they'll go away. It's just, it's a bit cumbersome because we also, like, live in a city. The address on the prescription led so us I don't want to, like, hit the wasp's nest and then have 200 wasps come out and start stinging people. <laughs> and then <laughs> leave us, like, legally culpable. Seems like she ain't home. Alright. I mean, it is 1 p.m. on a Monday. Maybe she's at work. <laughs> Just kidding, nobody in this game plays by the rules. Professor R's never home, you know. Why'd she buy such a nice house? Patty, why do you know so much about Professor R? I don't know that much, really. But you're the first person in town who mentioned her name to me. You also knew about San Rouge, didn't you? And when I tried to ask you more about it back then, you gave me an evasive answer. You're my assistant, aren't you? If you are, then you need to tell me everything you know about this case. Well, then how about you start paying her? Daddy don't like Lena. He said it's stupid for a man to want to turn into a woman. Sweary. What? And... He told me I ain't supposed to talk about her. He said that if you knew someone like her was living here, Agent York, you'd start to hate this town. That's ridiculous. Why would I ever hate this town? It truly is the Deep because South. Because one of its inhabitants is transgender? Why in the world would that make a difference to me? We stand a progressive king, even if he is a cop. The other folks in town said the same thing as Daddy. They all know about Sam Rouge and Professor R. And about how she's waging war against the Clarksons. But they all say we ain't supposed to talk about it. It's probably so good practice, honestly. And here, I'd assumed that ignorant way of thinking died out with the 20th century. <laughs> I guess I really am an outsider after all. Who are you talking to? I thought that to? everyone was cooperating with my investigation. But it turns out they were all hiding. He's so mad. He's like, he's yelling at Damn God. This just made me hate the countryside for the first time. Hell yes. <laughs> he's waking up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for being so loud, Patricia. But just remember this. Person's birthplace, nature, race, and physical features have no bearing on their value as a human being. You know, that uh, reminds me of a very famous quote from the Tommy Wiseau film The Room. If a lot of people loved each other, the world would be a better place to live. We're always free, and we should respect each other just the way we are. So you shouldn't feel a need to hate Lena for no reason. No matter what the people around you say, you can't let them control you. Sometimes things like common sense and decency can end up deeply hurting other people. I was with you. I sincerely hope you don't forget that. Okay. I won't. But if Lena's committed a crime... <laughs> oh, a let's go. Together. She may be a social minority, but she's still free and capable of knowing the difference between right and wrong. Get her. Professor R. I sincerely hope she's smart enough to understand that. This is a fun place to have that conversation. <laughs> you know what that means. Possible Simon interlude. I believe this... Yeah, we might be moving on to a new chapter. To the two ends and drink dry defile water. Do this, and you will see the other world. Zach, did you hear that? 
It's another oracle. Oh, sorry, that was I my ringtone. This means we're getting closer to the truth. Well, this is good. We don't have any other big clues at the moment. What do you say we continue the skeletal gentleman's game? So I did hear from people who have beaten Deadly Premonition 2 that we are largely done After with I the filler the 90s quest. Listening to nothing but punk rock. Oh hell yeah! I fell out of touch with music. Oh, he's but me. The digital audio player I received <laughs> last Christmas changed everything. Nowadays, people can walk around with thousands of songs in their pockets. You following me here, Zach? That's right. This oracle is connected to music. All I'm gonna say is, uh, if York was an iPod, he'd be a shuffle. The two ends refer to neither periods nor a movie's credits. They refer to the last letter of the alphabet, Z. And what's a word that has two Z's in it? Jazz, of course. The number one hangman Remember, word. we're in Louisiana here. The fire water is even easier. It's alcohol. Let's go to that jazz bar and have a drink while we consider our next plan of action. <laughs> of course, it's jizz. This is all part of our job, isn't it, Zach? Uh, well, we'll see if the accountants buy that on the expense report. Lucari Tiger to DC. Don't talk to me, Melvin. Lucari Tiger to DC Eagle. Come in. No. Oh, Daddy. Sorry, honey. Daddy's about to get canceled. DC Eagle here. Got any news for me? Well, Mr. York, uh, we got ourselves a bit of a problem here. What sort of problem? My ida outdated ideas about humanity. <laughs> Looks like Daniel's gathered up a group of people to help him find Galena's killer on his own. If the Clarksons get serious, they'll probably put an end to this case before we even know what hit us. And it sure won't be wrapped up the way you want it to, Mr. York. Yes, that certainly is a problem. Oh well. Judging from Daniel's temperament, things are bound to get out of control. And his mm. haircut. Melvin, I need to find Professor R as soon as possible. P Professor R? That's right. That ain't such a good idea. Oh really? Why, Melvin? I didn't ask for your personal opinion, Melvin. Oh, <laughs> that is beautiful. Especially if it comes from an antiquated, xenophobic way of thinking that's characteristic of rural towns. Bodied. Whoa, now, Mr. York. What's going on here? I didn't... This conversation is over, Melvin. You need to figure out what the Clarksons are planning. Call me again as soon as you know. Huh? Fine. Whatever you say. Also, uh-oh. I don't know like I don't know if I have the courage to press the next button. That also had a it's like he's got a whole essay prepared. This is like when you you're having a conversation with someone over text and you see them send a message that it says also and then they're typing for like 20 minutes and then you just watch a huge block come in. Here it comes. Sorry, but would you mind coming oh. to pick up Patricia? Turns out it was actually just pretty minor. I would never think to take an innocent girl like her into an adult watering hole. Phrasing? Yeah, you're right. CLG's still too young for that. Wait, Daddy! Agent York! I'm going too! Don't let me out of this! It's a health North code Patricia, violation! You signed a contract with me, remember? I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world. That's not what it means! Patty... You're smart. Shockingly so. But you're still a child. And there are certain things a child like you doesn't need to learn about yet. Just go home for today. Zach and I are both in agreement on this one. Hey, your dad's on the fence. <sighs> Sticking her tongue out. <laughs> I'm so glad you understand, Patty. Okay, Melvin, that's that. The rest is in your hands. Roger that. I'll take care of her, Mr. York. She is your daughter. <laughs> See, sorry if I if I put you out a little bit. Uh, skirt, by the way, a skirt, seventy-eight percent. 
durability? What the heck happened? Maybe it's because I'm driving through the forest? Hey, Zach. No, nothing. Just felt like saying God, that. I hate that one. How much do you want to bet that this is a fence? Yep, okay. All right. Fair enough. Okay. We'll be going this way then. Zach, you're a coffee person. Oh, here we go. No sugar, only milk. Yes, I'm completely with you on that one. That's it? It's, you gotta give me a little bit more than that. We've had that before? Yeah, but we've had the bridge one like 70 times in between. It feels new. Four by four, huh? Hey, can I show you something? Skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
rip your employees. That sounds terrible. Um, if you don't mind, I will just smoke several cigarettes via the most laborious menu in gaming history. Just, just gotta make it to 17. Just 17 p.m. He's done it. Bro. <laughs> it's alright. That means we're sleeping for free tonight. It wasn't a long cigarette. It was a middle cigarette. Two very different things. Look, Zack. That seat is beckoning us. Sit at the bar. I can do that. I really like jazz. America, Spain, Sweden, Liberia, Finland, and the Czech Republic. How about that? Six, six countries very well known for their jazz tradition. Listen to the two ends and drink dry the fire water. I don't like when you do that. Do this and you will see the other world. Hungen's oracle pointed us to this bar. So we must have to do something here. But I feel like the fire water part is missing something. Singularity inspection start. Today's, co today's cocktail? Thank you. Today's recommended cocktail is listed here in chalk. Xavier certainly knows his cocktails. Who the hell is Xavier? We'll have to find our revelation elsewhere. Large go sign. Singularity inspection complete. It really does say good drank, huh? <laughs> Go. Zach, do you see that? It's a gigantic go sign. Go drank. I think someone's trying to send us a very powerful message here. That settles it. This must be a singularity. Beautiful lipstick. The color red suits you. Nice to meet you, by the way. Thank you. Red is the color of life. No human who knows the joy of life would ever hate this color. Or would they? Just two normal human beings having a conversation. Lena Dunham. Maybe. Maybe not. But I know of a drug with a red color that certainly doesn't signify life. It sometimes even steals the lives of those who drown themselves in it. Catch my drift? I thought he was gonna say ketchup! <laughs> before a candle's flame burns out, it burns brighter than ever before, blazing like a shining red star. Yo, you got Don't a permit you think for that? That instant is more valuable than a century of smoldering. <sighs> that blaze doesn't cast out the darkness. It only emphasizes it. But where are my manners? <laughs> I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Oh no, it's the cops. Let me get straight to the point. You were present when Lise Clarkson was murdered. And 
you were also involved with Galena Clarkson's death. Correct? Right in my face, huh? Agent Morgan. Um, Are you a man who can hold his liquor? I'd love some fire water. <laughs> We're similar. You and I. One scotch and splendor coming right really? up. I don't see the resemblance. Well, you should. Look deeper. Think about who you were when you were first born, and who you are now. Man, she's going to town Different on that thing. Different selves exist inside your body. Are you talking about Zack? <laughs> she trying to dry laundry in that thing? I was born as a man, but in my heart, I wasn't so. Are you okay? You just drank and fire! In a small town. I experienced far more scorn and discrimination than anyone could ever imagine. Especially from my father. Parents are supposed to raise their children with love. That's the norm, right? Not for me. I was raised by my father's flesh-seething hatred. Down the hatch, bon appetit. So you ran away from home, started making drugs, then seduced a young life and destroyed it? That story makes no sense to me. <laughs> Think about it. They didn't burn you in a witch hunt, nor did they ever try to take your life. Yet here you are, letting your selfish fantasies drive you to torch the entire town with vengeful fire. Why did you abandon your inheritance only to end up in a place like this? Did I miss a big cutscene? What do you hope to achieve? <laughs> You've already figured out that much. Leonard doesn't exist anymore. He disappeared from me a long time ago. All that's left now is the Red Soul. The Red Soul? The Red Soul gives me strength and courage. You talking and about I vow to use that strength to change this world. The Red Soul has the power to amplify the unique characteristics we all possess. Mentally and physically. I thought I told you to hold That's the teeny. Why I created the Holy Red Powder. So that everyone can enjoy its divine benefits. Mm. That's ridiculous. Our world is home to scarier monsters than violence and prejudice. Ugh. Zack. Someday, even your best friend will abandon you. No. This Never. is no way to run a business. And in the end, you'll be all alone. Zack and I will always be together. <laughs> hey, that was my line. <laughs> Couldn't have seen this one coming. Daddy! Uh, oh no. Not this Daddy! again. Walk a mile in these Lou Boutons. Daddy! Please! <laughs> I can't find mommy either! Don't, don't leave me alone! Please! Please, Daddy! I get it. I get it. That lady was here the whole time? <laughs> mm. oh. 
she got us, Zack. She spiked the drink with some sort of sleeping pill. It's the exact plot of the song Livin' La Vida Loca. She took my heart and she took my money. Must have slipped me a sleeping pill. No wonder they call her the professor. Whew. But that was a rash move. Perhaps she realized that she's finally crossed the point of no return. How or... did I never realize that? What, you guys never heard Livin' La Vida Loca before? We need to head to the Clarksons at once before it's too late. You need to go to the police. We can still stop this. He is the... No, like the real police. <laughs> but not Melvin either. Jazz music. This is an absolutely amazing poster. Jazz music. Can you imagine the kind of person that would buy this piece of art to put up in their home? Jazz music. Beyonce and J-A-Z. It's modern art, sweetie, look it up. The only modern art I respect is the one where the lady gets completely naked and then just sits on a chair in the New York Museum of Metropolitan Art, and then the whole exhibit is just staring her in the eyes while she stares you in the eyes. This is the only pure piece of art made since Andy Warhol's Brillo Box, 1961. What about the banana tape to the wall? That wasn't a piece of art, that was my lunch. Uh-oh, it's nearly sundown, huh? Well, um, it's a beautiful sunset, you can't deny that. Uh... <laughs> Did a naked lady just walk by? Beautiful sunset. This truly is the Deep South. Who needs ghosts of Tsushima? Absolutely true. Okay. It's a long trip. Uh, get ready. Amazing Grace, yeah. NL, have you ever been to the South? I've been to uh, Miami, which I believe is one of the most southernmost points. Here, except uh, fields and fields of sugarcane, that is. Let's continue the investigation, Zach. I yeah. We may what? But it's over here. I've also I've been to. I've flown into the Houston. And the Dallas but Airport. If this town has a symbol. It's got to be that bridge. That counts. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I was only in the airport, but it is the most 10 gallon hats I've ever seen in my entire life. Um. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> How are we supposed to get there? Head to the front gate of the Clarksons. We can go this way. Hearing Ryan talk about diaper changing not being bad, I look forward to him cleaning up vomit. I mean... I have like a, genuinely, I have a very good tolerance for grossness. I'm not really worried about vomit, P. 
case, shit, doesn't matter. I'm definitely gonna be way more bothered by the lack of sleep than by, than by bodily waste. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be, uh, you know, all that pleasant, but, uh, I don't think it's gonna be the worst part for sure. It's our campsite if you want to camp out down there. How many mo more months before she's due? Um, today is 31 weeks. So is you know, nine weeks plus or minus uh, a couple of weeks. Please let me in. Come on, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I'm begging you. We got past the sign. Are you more nervous or more excited? Um, I'm not really nervous at all. Like, I know it's gonna be hard and it's gonna be an adjustment, but like... I'm not being, like, flippant about it, but I'm like, I mean, what is there to be nervous about? It's gonna be hard. We're gonna be tired. But we got, like, the nurseries all set up. We're, we're completely prepared. We've gone through the baby class. So I'm more, uh, excited than anything else. It's a long trip, huh? <laughs> what if you raise a Karen? I mean, I would rather not, obviously, but, um... You know, it's something I don't really have to worry about until, like, the 2040s, so I'm not really... It's not on my radar right now. <laughs> They couldn't have just put it, like, right next door, huh? My god. Can I hitch a ride? This is madness. No, I, I have not recorded, uh... Doki Doki Literature Club yet? It, it, I'll do it this week. And, uh, like, we hit 820,000 subscribers, which is very exciting. 820,000, which is very exciting. Um, but I am gonna record the whole game before I upload any of it. So... Don't, don't look to that to be out very soon. Like, within the next 48 hours. But it will start to come out, hopefully, this, uh, this week. I love the Netflix formula. No, I'm not gonna post it all at once. <laughs> if, if by the Netflix formula you mean a show being filmed and then released one day at a time, then yes, you should love this formula. You may want to put a viewer discretion warning in front of it. Really? I mean, I play games where people get shot in the head with, like, 12-gauge shotguns, routinely. Chat is overreacting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've been through several different phases of the internet. This song is pretty sick. This is what I think about your terracotta walkway. So dramatic. If this town has a symbol, it's got to be that bridge hanging over the bayou. Lift. 
trying to keep count of sheep. Oh, okay. Loading screen. Fair enough. Oh, it's Snarf City, dude. Zack, it's a singularity. The Oracle was right on the mark. The mouth to the other world is open, ready to swallow us alive. Uh, a little sensitive content warning. This case is finally starting to come together. Look, I have a very simple rule about a viewer discretion ad advisory. I don't mind putting it on, but if you tell me to put on a viewer discretion advised bumper at the start of my video, and then I go to your Twitter account and you're threatening to chop off landlords' heads with a guillotine, I consider you a hypocrite. Just my two cents. I, I, you are seen. I see you. Oh, somebody made my favorite character feel bad, but then on Twitter they're like, "Here we go again, Zach." Let's. You're as excited as I. Get am, all the aren't landlords you? and kill them. Mmm, rich flesh tastes everything. so good. Now, while this. You think I don't see you? I see it all. Begging us to come inside. Right, the Snarf theme song. Um, <laughs> Snarf, by the way. Oh. Buck 30, man. Oh, we only got like 10 bullets left. We did get a Capitano fragment, though. Lazing Capitano. What the heck is that? What the little little crabs? This is hell. First aid kit. I need bullets. I need bullets. You. That makes sense. Kind of unbelievable. Um, snarf shooter. A pantalone fragment. That's why I'm trying to kill these guys with melee, because I'm like, we don't have enough bullets. I guess I gotta use my mind bullets. That's telekinesis, Kyle. to say I want to cut it off snip snip snarf <laughs> thanks for the anti numb oh, oh anti numb Sitting on a snarf bench. If you'll excuse me, Gollum. I have paralysis or cramps. <laughs> 